Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about automating crushed ice production using an ME storage network. Uh, this video is requested by Level 2 GNOME, uh, but hopefully it's helpful to lots of you out there. So the first thing that I've done is I have created a subnetwork that is isolated from my primary network. And my primary network doesn't consist of a whole lot right now, just an ME controller, um, an ME drive, an access terminal, and this interface. And I've shown in other videos that if you connect a storage bus to an interface, you have access to all of the materials uh, from your primary network and your secondary network, but the crafting is isolated. And that's going to be important because of the way that we're doing this. Um, so what we're doing on our sub-network here is we've got a piece of dark cable, a precision export bus, and an ME interface. Uh, and, though, and we also have an access terminal here that we don't specifically need. Um, and an ME controller. So what we've done is inside our ME interface we've given uh, our network kind of a, uh, a token pattern here. So we're telling it that we make one wood shovel with four ice shards and one snowball. And the reason that we're using this token pattern is because we don't actually get to put our crushed ice back in our ME network because it is a liquid and liquids aren't supported at this time. So we've got that there and then we've got a precision export bus um, set to always craft and always active and we're telling it to make wooden shovels. So the classic problem with this would be that when you've got an export bus set uh, with a level or excuse me, when you've got an export bus set to always craft it waits for the craft product to come back before it transmits again. So to counteract this we put it behind a piece of dark cable and as you know every time a piece of dark cable toggles on or off it resets the crafting on the network. Uh, and then we've just made ourselves an old school redstone clock back here because I don't know um, which types of clocks or timers might be available in the mod pack you're using. Uh, to create this you need a redstone torch with any solid block above it, um, as many redstone repeaters as you need for your delay, and then a solid block at the end, and then a trail of redstone leading back to the block that the redstone torch is attached to. And that functions as a clock, and as you can see, it's just toggling our redstone torch on and off there. Okay, so every time that's happening, um, this export bus becomes connected, attempts to craft a wooden shovel. I've got music on, and I don't want that. Excuse me, music. Thank you. Um, so it uh, every time that toggles on, it lights up the dark cable, uh, and then this export bus attempts to craft a wooden shovel which causes this uh, interface here to drop four ice shards and one snowball into the squeezer, which makes our crushed ice. So let's give this a test. And just to show you, um, here's our disk drive. We're just going to put this over here on our parent network, and we can see that these are available on our child network here. Um, and those are being processed in. So every time our redstone torch clicks on, um, it is dropping four ice shards and one snowball into our squeezer, and that is producing crushed ice for us. And yes, this is powered. I just dropped a uh, redstone energy cube below it, but you would power that however you needed to. Um, so you can see we're not at 100% uh, efficiency here. We do have times where we've got no ice shards and um, you know no snowball in our network there, and so you can, of course, um, tune down your clock, uh, whatever type of clock you're using. Uh, this isn't set for perfect efficiency, just to kind of model how a person would be able to do this. Uh, so that's it there. Um, Subnetwork connected via storage bus to interface on your primary. Uh, redstone clock of some kind connected to dark cable. On the other side of the dark cable, you'll have a precision export bus set to always craft a token item. And then that token item with your uh, ice shards and snowball uh, in the pattern inside an ME interface on top of a squeezer. And that will automate your crushed ice production. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, feel, please feel free to leave them below. I um, hope this is helpful to you guys, and have a great day.